Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while, but I'm back with a new video and let's just get straight to the point. Right now, I just came back from the gym, so I look a little bit crazy. I look real crazy. Ooh. Right now, I am getting ready to do my hair because... My best friend's birthday is next week. Because, <laughs> you know, I got to act like it's my birthday, too. Because <laughs> if it's her birthday, it's my birthday. So, her birthday is next week, and we are going to be lit, lit, lit. And I need my hair to look good. So, I want to wear it very crinkly, real wavy. So, I'm going to do my box braids. And right now, you guys know my situation with this one little missing dread. Like, it grew so much since you guys last saw it, but... It needs, it needs a brother or a sister. So, right now, I'm just here to repair that one. And what I'm going to do is take my crocheting needle. My aunt, she got this off of Amazon, and this is how it looks. We're going to create a false lock. That's exactly what we're going to do. I already started the process because this shit took forever, and I'm still learning. Um... But basically, this is how the lock is looking right now. As you can see, it looks red. So I want this to be the length of, I don't gotta do much. Let's see, if I was to attach it, it would be this long. I want a little bit longer. So I'm gonna attach some more here. And let me show you guys how I do it. So I take a piece of this hair. I'm gonna use this, this is gonna be my end. I'm gonna make this my end. So what I do is take this here, put it right here, take the needle, and just keep going in and out of the lock. Let's see if I could. It's hard to do it on camera, let it focus. And when you do that, you want to keep turning it. At first, it's going to feel like you're you're not doing much, but you're actually matting the hair together. So this is how. You're just going to keep going in and out. So basically, what I'm doing is knotting the hair together to make one lock. They do this by doing the instant locks. They do this technique and calling it the instant lock. It may not feel like you're not doing anything, but you have to make sure that the hair is coming into this ball. I don't know if you guys can see. And you want to make sure you twist it as you go along. You want to pull that in so you're going to go from the opposite side. And pull it in to the lock. And voila. Take some more here and keep adding as you go along. I use like to use I like to use a little bit of hair as I go along. Just to make sure that I'm doing it correctly. Alright, so most of my hair is done, except for that one that we are going to reattach. This is the lock, and this is the lock extension. And we're going to attach this. I think it's long enough. Hopefully not longer than others. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, it's almost the same length. That's not bad. Okay, so... We're going to reattach that lock to 
like that one. Same process. Okay, so it is partially connected and we're gonna connect that bad boy. I'm gonna take a little bit of hair and add it right there because it feels a little weak, so. I'm going to add some hair right here. Oh, this is a killer. See, it's coming along. It's coming along. And there we have the lock. We have our lock, our repaired lock. Um, and now I don't gotta walk around feeling self-conscious about a freaking lock that's missing. Cause it was really hard to like walk around so let's twist that bad boy And there we have the lock. 